Well, essentially, everything is an unmet need in small cell lung cancer. Uh, we haven't made significant progress in that disease in uh, decades. Uh, our treatment, particularly for advanced disease, remains drugs that were approved uh, literally decades ago. And uh, the overwhelming majority of patients will die of their disease within 24 months of diagnosis. So currently, uh, uh, there is only one approved agent in second-line treatment of small cell, and that's uh, topotecan, available either intravenously or orally. It's a drug with uh, limited activity and very significant toxicity, and um, you know we are in uh, desperate need of uh, something better than that. Nivolumab uh, and or um, nivolumab plus ipilimumab has an indication um, within NCCN guidelines in this setting, but is not FDA approved, not always reimbursed, and uh, we have no randomized data demonstrating its superiority uh, over uh, topotecan. So uh, it's available, but not necessarily a, a great, cho a, a clear cut choice. The factors that uh, impact the efficacy of second-line treatment is how quickly one relapses after initial treatment and the bulk of disease, performance status, uh, kind of typical things in uh, lung cancer as well as uh, other solid tumors. Uh, patients who relapse quickly, those who have large bulk of disease, particularly in the liver, uh, do very poorly. Irinotecan, which is actually another option uh, in the second line treatment, very similar agent to topotecan, somewhat easier to administer, uh, has been combined with dinituximab, uh, a, a ganglioside targeting agent uh, that's approved in pediatric neuroblastoma. In our uh, early phase trial to determine um, the uh, potential toxicity, it was found that this was a well-tolerated uh, regimen. Our major concern with dinituximab was pain, uh, but we saw relatively little pain and it was easily managed with uh, uh, non-narcotic uh, analgesics. Uh, so we're proceeding in a large randomized phase three study uh, of that combination. As I previously mentioned as an option, uh, we have uh, currently there are some data with nivolumab with or without ipilimumab in the second line treatment of uh, uh, advanced uh, small cell lung cancer. Unquestionably, there are some patients who will respond to this, uh, and some of those responses have been durable. However, this has not been compared in a randomized controlled trial. It is not FDA approved. Uh, I believe that there's clearly a subset who benefit. Uh, I personally have seen this, but we still will need additional treatments uh, either by themselves or in combination with immunotherapy if we're gonna seriously advance the field.